So I'm sorry that yesterday's vlog ended so abruptly. I came back and it was really late so I didn't really end it, but it's the next day now. It is 11.27. I just put the video up to go up at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, so I think that's going to be the time that I'm going to put up all of these vlogs unless I have an issue. So I'm going to try and get these up every other day. Um, Maybe once in a while, if I can get another one up the day after, I'll do that. But it'll definitely be every other day at least. So I'm about to do my makeup now. Finishing up my smoothie here. So we got melon, pineapple, um, juice, oats. I can't remember what the superfruit's called, but it's like a powder form of the leaves of it. Um, and it's really good. So we're going to get... Some more groceries today because I need some groceries um, I made a little list I'm just gonna get like the basic stuff that I eat every single day and then we're also going to go and look at a gym that will hopefully work out for me because you guys know I need the gym so um, I had a video that I was gonna put up it was going to be a get ready with me it was the last video that I filmed um, back at home but it just wasn't working for some reason like every time I went to export it it said it was going to take like 17 hours to export so then I was worried and I was like well the connection seems pretty fast here so maybe it's just the video so I think there was something corrupted in that video so sadly you guys aren't going to see that video because I just deleted all the footage and I went ahead and I tried to export my vlog for yesterday and I exported it in like 15 minutes so with that being said there wasn't a lot of talking in that video it was basically mostly just music and montage if you guys watched it um, so that doesn't take that long to export but that was much faster so I think there was just something wrong with it so I'm really sorry that you guys didn't get to see that so I went ahead and did my makeup and I'm wearing this choker set from Shein so it's like a velvet top and then the bottom is just this little triangle this top is from Romley. Paul's not up yet, but that will be coming soon. So it's just a basic green top. I'm wearing my bag that can also be a backpack. Um, I don't remember what brand this is, but this is a bag that I tend to always wear now. It's the one that I got from TJ Maxx. And then I am wearing some Fashion Nova jeans, which I got makeup on. Shocker. Um, and they're just a like light wash. Um, denim blue, and I cuffed them. got back from the shop so I thought I would do a grocery haul so we went what was the place called that we went to I can't remember exactly what it was called if I have like an image of it I will have it overlaid while I'm talking right now but first thing is my auntie got some coconut water because she puts this in her um, smoothies because we're gonna start making smoothies because you guys know I make smoothies every single day but she got off of making smoothies, so I'm going to get her right back into making them. Um, got some pasta. This is just like your basic pasta. I don't really eat pasta that much. Um, we got pineapple for our smoothies. And what she does 
is she'll cut up all the fruit and then she'll freeze it and put it in separate bags so then all she has to do is take it out of the bags and then throw it right in the blender. So I thought that was really smart. I picked up some red potatoes. They're called something completely different here, but they're just red potatoes because I eat potatoes nonstop. Like, it's my job. She grabbed some sweet potatoes. Um, she also got some, I think this is, is this spring onion, maybe? Can you guys tell? I don't know. It's, it's some type of vegetable. I got some peanut butter, because I put peanut butter in my smoothies. Um, so this is by Sun Pat. I don't know. I don't like crunchy, so I got smooth. We've got some butternut squash, I believe. Um, no idea what this is. This is a vegetable, though. I don't know. I didn't pick it up, so I don't know what that is. We got strawberries. Um, for my smoothie in the morning. And their strawberries are like, oh my god, they're so much better than ours. I don't know what is wrong with our produce, at least in Maryland, but like our fruit is disgusting, which is why you guys always see me buy frozen fruit, because our fresh fruit goes bad within like literally minutes of you opening it. So I got some um, yogurt. This is just natural yogurt. And I picked this one because it has the most amount of protein. Probably tastes like rotten milk. But that's kind of how I like my yogurts because I just throw it in a smoothie and I can't taste it anyways. We got two apples because she said she adds apples to her smoothies. So I thought I would try that. Got a stock of broccoli. Got some crisps. I called them chips, but they're called crisps here. Chips is actually fries here. So this is Walker's. This is basically their Lay's. Um, if you guys have never had their chicken flavored chips, and like you eat meat and stuff, try them because they're amazing, obviously. I can't really have them anymore. But um, this is just a six pack, so there's little baggies in here. Uh, we got some of these rolls. She said these are really good to snack on. She said they're very buttery. So these are um, brioche rolls. I don't know how to pronounce that. But there's 10 of them in there. We got some bread. So she said she really likes this bread. She says it toasts, toast. It toasts really, really well. Um, so this is multi-grain bread. It's just, it's like regular fresh bread from the store. We got zucchini. I got two zucchinis, um, because that's one of the vegetables that I tend to eat, um, pretty often. We grabbed some, uh, green beans. These are actually called dwarf beans. I don't know if that's the same thing, but grab some of these. Then she picked up a bunch of juice. So she got the apple mango juice, which is what we put in our smoothie this morning. We also put it in yesterday. And she also got some orange juice because I was telling her that juice is like a really great replacement. Um, because she didn't have any coconut water and that's what she uses and she doesn't like almond milk in hers. So she tried the juice and she really, really liked it. So she got some more juice and then she also got this orange pineapple juice. So I am also a juice lover. I love juice. I usually don't believe in drinking my carbs, but when I'm in a surplus, I tend to do it because I can never get enough food in. And then I just got some unsweetened almond milk. So this is one of the ones where you can like keep it on the shelf until you open it and then um, obviously pop it in the fridge. And then last thing looks like, I don't know. I don't know what it says. It's fruit. I, it, hmm, I want to say guava, but I feel like I'm terribly wrong and I think someone's going to tell me off for it. So we're just going to say, I don't know what that was. Then she picked up some honey. So fun fact, I actually hate honey, but she added honey to our smoothie and I was surprisingly not against it. So maybe I don't hate honey anymore. She got some cherries. Um, then we got some bananas. So we got a bunch of bananas because bananas is the one thing that I always add to my smoothies. They were actually out this morning, so it was really weird not to have a banana in the smoothie because like the texture's different and it's also not as sweet, which is why we added that honey. I got some sugar snap peas because these are my new obsession. They taste so good if you stir fry them. I've never had them any other way. And then she got cheese and chicken, but I don't need either of those. So that is everything that we picked up. I believe that's our entire grocery haul. Yes, yes. So we also looked at 
gyms. So we went to two gyms. They were, what were the gyms called again? I'm a mess. I can't remember what they were called, but they're all like under the same company now because they like bought them all out. So we went to two of those. They just didn't have enough equipment that I needed. And then the third one that we went to is like the closest thing to my type of gym that we could possibly find. So they have like actual rigs instead of like full racks, which I really, really like. Um, they have bumper plates, so I can use that for deadlifts. And then they have an incline bench and a regular bench. So they don't have a lot of equipment, but they have enough where like if I go when it's not super busy and I don't think it would be because it's a pretty small gym, then um, I can get away with using that. But we are going to just wait a little bit. I'm going out with Karen later. I'm meeting her in central London and there's a gym there that I'm going to look at. So I'll show you guys that if we end up looking at it because this one is 30 pounds for a month. So I would end up doing that obviously. Um, but I'm not positive. Like I want to make sure that I pick the one that has the most equipment that's going to benefit me because I still want to be doing all my powerlifting stuff. And because I barely do bodybuilding anyways, it's not like I can just kind of stop and just be like, oh, I'll just do like, you know, hypertrophy workouts because that's not really what I enjoy anymore. I still have my two days, but it doesn't really make sense for me to do that. So we went to those gyms. The last one I really, really liked. It's very small. Um, if I end up going there, you guys will see it because I didn't get much footage of it. But it was pretty nice. They had a little cable section, nothing too crazy, but I don't really do much hypertrophy work anyways. I just really want to make sure I stay on my powerlifting track because I want to do that meet, um, hopefully at the end of August. So that's really my, that's my focus right now. Missing someone. Missing someone.